welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing it really well today. So I am so excited for the fall season this year and I know it's still August, but I wanted to go ahead and get a little head start on the fall videos here on my channel. So I've got my pumpkin mug and it may be 90 degrees outside, but we're inside with the air conditioning and we can pretend that it's fall. So I have a little haul for you guys today that's all fall themed and this is kind of some collective shopping from the past couple of months just as I've been thinking towards the fall season. A lot of it is thrifted and if you are a thrifter like me, you know that the seasonal decor and things like that tend to get picked over pretty quickly. So I thought I would go ahead and show you everything that I've picked up. I have some thrift finds, some eBay finds, anthropology, home goods, some books, and just a whole bunch of fun fall things. So I'm excited to share with you today. So grab yourself a cup of tea or coffee. Let's get cozy and talk about some fall things. Let's start with thrifted and vintage. And I have a little pile of sweaters here. Two of these are from eBay and two of these are from the thrift store. So I have recently been obsessed with finding vintage Laura Ashley sweaters. So I've gotten two on eBay. And as you know, if you watch my channel, I love vintage Laura Ashley. And I thought that the sweaters from Laura Ashley would be a great way to incorporate some of my style into more cozy fall outfits. So the first one I found is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this embroidery. It is so beautiful. This is a cotton cardigan and it has the embroidery all over the cardigan it's on the sleeves as well and i love the tones of this the kind of peachy coral tones that are really soft and muted i thought this would be really cute with jeans for the fall and just a cute cozy piece and it would also layer well with dresses so i'm very excited about this one and i love the sweet scalloped detail as well so to find these all i've been doing is going on ebay or poshmark and searching for vintage laura ashley sweaters the second one that i got is so much fun this one is more of a long pullover and this reminds me so much of a sweater my mom had when i was growing up that i absolutely loved it has the beautiful color work knitting design and again this is a cotton sweater so both of these i think will be really great for the weather here where i live in the fall time because they're not too heavy but they're still nice and cozy and i also love all of the lace details on this one as well so I'm very excited to wear both of these and have a little bit of vintage Laura Ashley in my fall wardrobe. And then I found two cotton sweaters at Goodwill as well. One is this little Ann Taylor Loft sweater and I loved the neckline detail on this. This blue shade is one of my favorites to wear. So I thought this would be a good basic. I could see this looking really cute with some cream colored denim and I love the details. Any kind of knit like this that has pretty details always speaks to me. And I would definitely recommend if you are looking to get some sweaters from the thrift store, go ahead and do it now because they do get picked over as the season continues. So you wanna go while it's still too warm. And then one more sweater. One thing that I am loving for the fall this year is the idea of like cherry red and cream. I think it's such a beautiful color combination. So I found this little towel bits sweater. It's cable knit, it's 100% cotton. And I loved the almost faded red on this. That's probably why somebody donated it, but I love it. I think it's so pretty. And I thought this would be a great basic that I will wear all of the time in the fall. Both of the Goodwill sweaters were $4.99. And then along with the theme of cherry red for fall and cream, I found this little bag at Goodwill. I never have good luck with purses from Goodwill, but I thought this was so cute. This is a Nine West purse, and I just think it's a really fun kind of trendy option for the fall time. So I can see this looking so cute with the red sweater. And then the rest of my thrift finds are more like home and lifestyle. So I got these little leaf shaped bowls. I think these may have originally actually been from like the dollar store because they had a $1 sticker on them that was not the Goodwill sticker, but I thought they were so cute. It would actually make adorable candle holders if I wanted to put a candle in them. Since they're ceramic, I think that they would work well for the heat. So I thought these were really pretty. I'm not quite 100% sure how I will use them, but I really like them. I also found two little teacups that are this red transferware, which I thought would be kind of a nice alternative to blue and white transferware for the autumn. I have a teapot that is similar to this, so I thought these were so cute and I can't wait to make my fall coffees in these. And then recently I have been obsessed with collecting DVDs. I'm trying to get away from paying for streaming services and I found that Goodwill has so many cheap DVDs. So I'm trying to collect my favorite movies and I thought I would get the quintessential 
Meg Ryan fall films. So I have When Harry Met Sally, which is one of my top favorites, and also You've Got Mail, another top favorite. And these are ones that I want to watch over and over this time of year. So I thought it would be a good idea to have them on DVD. At my thrift stores, it's $2.99 per DVD. So it's a good price. It's about what you would pay to rent a movie on Amazon and you get to keep it. So I'm excited about my little DVD collection. And of course, I want to have all of the classic rom-coms. I keep hearing people talk about Meg Ryan fall. So we need the Meg Ryan movies. Okay, that is everything from the thrift store. So let's move on to some books. I went to one of my favorite local bookstores, Wordsworth Books here in Little Rock, and I got a few things for the fall. And in the fall, I'm always drawn to mysteries and really cozy types of reads. So a couple of these I picked up just based on the cover and then one I've read before. This one is called An Elderly Lady is Up to No Good, and I just could not get over this cover of this book. It looked so me. So this is kind of like a murder mystery type of thing, I think. This is a Swedish book. Let me read you the synopsis on the back. It says, ever since her darling father's untimely death, Maud has lived in the family's spacious apartment in downtown Gothenburg, Sweden, rent-free, thanks to a minor clause in a hastily negotiated contract. That was how Maud learned that good things can come from tragedy. Now in her late 80s, Maud leads a solitary existence and she likes it that way. Over the course of her adventures or misadventures, this little bold lady will handle a crisis with a local celebrity who has her eyes on Maud's apartment, foil the engagement of her long ago lover, and dispose of some pesky neighbors. But when Detective Inspectors Irene Huss and Embla Nystrom are called in to investigate a dead body found in Maud's apartment, will Maud finally become a suspect? So I have read about half of this so far. It's kind of like short story form. And I was looking for some short books to get me back into reading after a really long reading slump. So I'm curious how this is going to end. It's definitely interesting so far. And then I got one other mystery book. This is one of the Phryne Fisher mysteries. If you've seen Miss Fisher's Murder Mysteries, I love that show. And I have read one of the books, the first one, so I wanted to go ahead and get the second one in the series when I saw that they had a bunch of these at the bookstore. This one is called Flying Too High, and I'm excited to read it. If you're not familiar with the series, I'm mostly familiar with it from the show, but it's like this 1920s detective lady, so very fun aesthetics, and I'm looking forward to seeing what this one is like. And then and one other book this is one of my favorite favorite books i've read it twice i think already and i love the movie adaptation as well so this is called the guernsey literary and potato peel pie society say that five times fast but it is such a good book it's done in letter form and it is set in the post-world war ii era i absolutely love this story and i think if you like like period drama type of movies you will enjoy this as well so i'm glad to have this in my book collection and i'm excited to read it again because it's been a couple of years okay let's move on to a little bit of fall decor this is my first fall in this apartment so i don't really have anything as far as decorations i'm trying not to go crazy and do too much but i did get two things from home goods and a couple of things from anthropology so at home goods they have had the most beautiful glass pumpkins and I loved the colors of these two it's like this pretty soft green and almost a coral color these have a really pretty metallic element to them as well and I believe they light up but I need to find batteries to test that out but I thought these would really suit my living room decor so I'm excited to have these I will probably end up getting some real pumpkins as well but I just thought these were lovely and it was $14.99 for each one I think yeah $14.99 which is a lot cheaper than what you would find at anthropology so definitely check out your local home goods if you want to find some cute glass pumpkins these make me think of cinderella and then i got just a couple of things from anthropology first up i got a tea towel this one has all of the different varieties of pumpkins on it and i thought the colors were perfect my kitchen is blue so i thought the blue pumpkin being on here would be nice and I think this is just a really sweet little addition for the fall time. And then I also got two coasters from Anthropology. These are these two little marble pumpkin coasters. They came in different shapes, but I thought this size was the most convenient for actually using. The other one was kind of narrow and skinny, so I didn't think a lot of my mugs would fit on it properly, but I thought these would just be a fun little element to have sitting out on the coffee table for the fall that's festive and fall appropriate without being too over the top. And then randomly enough, my last location that I did fall shopping was Whole Foods. I got a few things here. So I wanted to try out the fall Mrs. Meyers hand soaps. So I got 
two of them. This one is fall leaves scent and then this one is acorn spice. So I'm going to use one in my bathroom and one in my kitchen. And I just thought that they were so nice and smell so good. And then I also got a fall candle and I love the vessel on this because it's almost like a pumpkin. It's this pretty glass and I thought this was really beautiful. So this is from the brand Illume and it is the scent Rustic Pumpkin. It smells very much like a classic pumpkin spice type of scent, but I don't think it's too overpoweringly sweet. So I really like it. I had this burning in my apartment yesterday and it still smells really good. So I'm excited about this one. And I like that it works as a little bit of decor too, since it looks like a pumpkin. So now I feel like I need to go on a little bit of a shopping ban, but I hope you enjoyed seeing everything that I've gotten recently. And it's just fun to get ready for the new season and kind of embrace what's to come. I'm very excited for the fall and I can't wait to go to a pumpkin patch and get some real pumpkins, but it will be a few weeks still till that. I think that next week is supposed to be really rainy and the highs are like in the 70s. So I'm excited about that because that sounds very fall-esque even though it's the first week of September so I hope that you're excited for the fall season wherever you are and that this video brought you just a little bit of the cozy fall feeling and I will link to anything that is available to purchase down below I know a lot of this was thrifted so maybe you're inspired to go do a little fall thrifting yourself I would love to know if you found any good fall finds at the thrift store lately so please let me know in a comment down below I will be back with a fall project a thrift flip actually in two days because I was a little bit late filming this video so I'll have my first fall project live for you very soon and if you are not yet subscribed to my channel and you would like to you can go ahead and do that by clicking the button down below I would really appreciate it thank you for spending your time here on my channel today I cannot wait for all of the fun fall content that's to come I will talk to you in a new video very very soon bye